guys, so I am here today with the long-awaited Girlactic video. I just realized I don't even have lipstick on. I ate dinner and didn't even put lipstick on. So let me do that. I will be right back. <sighs> Okay, much better. So, Girlactic, if you guys follow me, you know that I filmed this video and then I totally lost the memory card, still have not found it. I'm thinking I'll find it at some point and be really pissed off because in that video, I did like a get ready with me and I used all the products on my face, which I just, I really wanna get this video up for you guys. If you would like me to do a get ready with me with my Girlactic products. I don't have enough products to do like an entire full face just Girlactic, but I can use what I have and show you guys. But for today, I'm just gonna show you some of my favorite Girlactic products, yay! So Girlactic, for those of you that don't know, is an independent brand. The owner's name is Galit. Galit, I always feel like I'm saying that wrong, but she is such a sweet, sweet woman. I met her at IMATS LA, got to take pictures with her and talk to her, and she's just so nice, so sweet, and her products are amazing. Like, I loved this brand before I knew anything about her. Girlactic, for some people, is hard to find. I order my products from her website, which I will link down below. Some Rite Aids carry Girlactic. None around me do. I know there are some in California that do. Um, so it's just kind of hit or miss with the whole Rite Aid thing. I would just check with your Rite Aid and see if they carry it. If not, you most likely will have to order from the website. So I'm going to go through and show you guys some of my most favorite products. I want to start with my favorites, which are these two guys right here. The first one you guys have heard me talk about a thousand times. This is the Matte Bronzer in Cabo. All of the Girlactic packaging is so cute. It's just, oh, it's so cute. So this is what the bronzer looks like. It is the perfect contour shade because it has no shimmer in it. There's no red. It's not orange. It's just like this really nice brown, like tannish brown. It blends so, so beautifully. This is one of my all-time favorite contour shades. It is amazing. It's so soft. It's very finely milled, which I know that word is thrown around a lot, but with this, you can just tell. Like, when you dip your brush into it and put it on, it just, it blends out so beautifully. If you guys get anything from Girlactic, I am telling you, this product and the next one, favorites. Lifetime, holy grail products for me. The next one is the Face Glow in Natural. The packaging is the same on this one. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is very similar, let me grab it, very similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting palette. I feel like when you swirl these three together, you kind of get this. This is very, very subtle, but so pretty. This I like to use on very natural makeup days because it does give you a little bit of a sheen but it's not glittery it's not chunky I have even put this under my eyes like to set my concealer which might sound really crazy but it works and it just gives your face this gorgeous gorgeous light this stuff is absolutely incredible these two you guys I'm telling you the bronzer and the face glow you need you need them okay, I want to show you guys two blushes that I have the first one is my favorite. This, I feel it should just have my name imprinted on it because it's so my kind of color. This is the Star Blush in Milan. Now, if you guys follow my channel, you know these cool toned, like mauve dusty rose blushes just send me. This is so me. Oh my God, you guys, this is so pretty. And it's matte, but because it's so well made, when you put it on, you still get this like light to your face. It's not flat. It is, oh God, yes. And the other one that I really like, I don't like this one as much just because this is like, this is me. This is so me. But this guy is Florence. If you are into peach blush, I wish I didn't have blush on so I could show you. You know what? I'll put a little bit on. It just, I mean, like, look how pigmented that is. Just be careful, because it is really pigmented. But 
it's just so pretty and they blend out like effortlessly you can always tell when products are really well oh my god i almost busted it you can always tell when products are really well made because they just blend out effortlessly on your skin these two blushes are yes so good milan if you guys like pink blushes you will die okay something else i want to show you guys this is the pearl base it's just called the pearl base that's what it looks like. Now this is supposed to be for your eyes. You put it on your eyes and then there's a glitter. I have one of them that you can go over top of it with and it's kind of a base and like almost like a glue to keep the glitter on your eye. I like to use this as a highlighter. I have used it on my eyes just by itself like as an eyeshadow, but it's so pretty. It has this really nice um, like it has that luminosity, but it's very, I don't know. It's just not chunky or glittery or it doesn't even have shimmer in it. It just has a little bit of like metallicness to it. And it looks so pretty on the tops of the cheekbones. So I don't use this the way that it's meant to be used, but I still love it. This is the antique gold sparkles. That's what it's called. And it's just a gold glitter, but it's really pretty. I will do a close-up and show you guys because I will just get this everywhere. But if you do get one of the glitters and you don't have some sort of base, you can use this. I'm sure there are other uses for it. Um, that's just the two that I know of, using it for the glitter and the way I use it as a highlighter. You could also dab this yeah i'm all about this like metallic lip life so that's those two guys and then this product is more new to me i've only been using this for like a month but i really really like it i want to try this with my cover effects custom cover drops you guys know i'm obsessed with those on um, the skin tint moisturizer this is a, a different product i feel like this is very unique because it has color to it so it looks almost like a bb cream or a tinted moisturizer but it feels i mean it is so silky smooth it feels like the nicest like high-end moisturizer it just feels so good on your skin i've been using this on days when i don't have time to do makeup but i still need to get some color on my face i will just take this on my fingers just like a moisturizer i don't use a brush i don't use anything i just rub it together on my fingers and put it on just like haphazardly i'm so just like quick with it and it just makes your skin look so nice it doesn't have that greasiness to it that a lot of tinted moisturizers do and you guys may know i'm not a fan of bb creams i just i feel like if i'm going to take the time to do it i'm going to do a full face but this is kind of swaying my opinion because this just looks gorgeous on its own and I don't have to follow up with powder. I don't have to touch up throughout the day. It just kind of fades away gracefully. Weird, I know. And I'm trying to see what shade I have. I honestly don't know if this comes in shades. Uh, mine has no shade name on it. So maybe this is just like a universal shade. Universal shade. Um, I don't know. Mine doesn't say anything. But I'll look more into that and I'll put it down below what I find out. Okay, we need to talk about these lip glosses. I have two of them. I have Flirty and Smooch. You guys, Smooch is the one that I love. Now this in the packaging looks like it's going to be this kind of like a mid-tone pink with a little bit of like a metallic sheen to it but when you put this on it is so much lighter than it looks in the packaging and it has this like gold tinge to it oh my god this makes your lips look so juicy so luscious I'll put some on right now it is divine it actually gives the same effect as what I had on my lips. I've been dabbing a highlighter on my lips to get that like metallicness, but this kind of gives the same effect. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, and they smell so good. It smells like candy. Really nice. I do like the other one. This one is flirty. I do like it, but I don't love it as much as this. This one in Smooch, if you like 
this like sheen to your lips oh it's really really good okay and we have to talk about the lip paint I feel like these are what made Girlactic famous um, I have flirt who flirtatious and starlet starlet is my favorite this is so freaking pretty. I'm not even going to swatch it for you right now because once I put this on my hand, it will not go anywhere forever. They last for hours and hours. They don't dry my lips out too much. By like six to eight hours in, I start to get a little annoyed, but that's with any lip product, like long wearing kind of matte lip product. These are beautiful. I mean, you just need one layer. Like they are so pigmented. These, yes, if you're into the whole liquid lipstick trend, you need Girlactic. I think they're all back in stock now. There was a strike, something was going on, so she wasn't able to stock these, but I'm pretty sure she has them in stock now. So yes, yes. Starlet, if you like a mauve pink lip, and Demure is more of a, like a brownish shade, gorgeous. Okay, the last thing we have to talk about is a lipstick. This is the shade Beauty. Now this in the packaging looks like it's gonna be like a really brown nude. Let me just swatch it and show you guys. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's like a mauve shade, it's so weird. It looks totally different when I swatch it than it does in the bullet. Extremely creamy, very moisturizing and hydrating. It's not matte. It is a very moisturizing lipstick. This is the only Girlactic lipstick that I have. I need more because this formulation is really, really good. So one thing that I do want to mention, now Girlactic is a higher end... I don't want to say drugstore brand because it's certainly not drugstore prices, but I feel like it's on the lower end price-wise for high-end items. Like nothing $70 or $80, but it's definitely not drugstore prices. But with this brand, what I love about them, and by the way, guys, this video is not sponsored at all. Like I'm not being paid a penny to do this. You guys have requested... <laughs> You guys have requested this video like crazy. So many of you. So it's not sponsored. Um, with Girlactic, I know that no matter what I order from them, it's going to be good. The quality is always good. The product is always good. They always wear very nicely. I just feel like with certain brands, like with NARS, with Too Faced, there are just certain brands that I know no matter what I get, I'm probably going to like it just because the brand itself is so good. That's how I feel with Girlactic. No matter what you order, you can't really go wrong. I've never gotten anything from them and I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. Every time I order something and I get it, I end up loving it. So it's just a reliable, really good quality, well-run brand. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I will link Girlactic down below. It is not an affiliate link. It's just like I'm just going to go and pull the website up and copy and paste it for you guys. Okay, so that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you own any Girlactic products, let us know down below what you own and what some of your favorites are just for people that are kind of thinking about trying products out. My opinion's not the only one that matters and it's nice to see different points of view. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see all of you hopefully tomorrow with a new video. Bye! Mwah. The next thing that I want to show you guys... <laughs> uh, this is... It's not sponsored. It's a good... Oh shit, I just hit my elbow so friggin' friggin' friggin'. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it so much. I mean, I just, I love <laughs> Yeah, and there's, uh, oh my god. <laughs> that would be great if you could, who are you, Tony the Tiger? No, they don't. Start over. Ready. Ready. Oh my god, so too. <laughs> okay. Oh, Duke's not here, by the way, but you can still see his little imprint. Um, Tony made spaghetti with Italian sausage for dinner, and Duke is all about that life. He is all about the Italian sausage life. So, he wanted no parts of me, which is fine. I mean, whatever, I'm not offended or anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I did do it. Get ready. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't try that. Okay, let's try that again. I did do it. Shit, get ready with me on this look. Uh, shut up. This is some topaz shot.
I'm sweating my fluorescent bra straps off. <sighs> I feel like I was talking like a salesperson. I don't like when I do that. Did I do that? I'm sorry if I did. I didn't try it. Sometimes I just get like in the moment. I'm like, and next, the product that you need most. Oh, woof. Back to you. Go. I often wonder how people feel that don't like me. That You know, some people just annoy you. And I know I annoy some people. But it makes me want to be more annoying when I know that I annoy people. You know, I, that's just like the bitch in me. Yeah. Anybody else? Maybe? I don't know. I d Why are you so loud? Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.